This is Darius from therabbitpad.com and in this video I'm going to show you how you can add headers and footers to your Google Sheets. What you do is you go to the file menu and you select print. You can also do the keyboard shortcut or you can select print from the list of icons at the top of the page. When you do that, you will see a column on the right with a bunch of different options and at the bottom you have listed here, headers and footers. So here, Google Sheets gives you a list of predetermined headers and footers that you can include in your document. And when you click them, these options either appear at the top of the page or at the bottom of the page or in one of the four corners. For example, page numbers appears in the lower right hand corner. Workbook title, which is the name of the file, appears at the top left. The sheet name appears at the top right. The current date appears at the bottom left and the current time also appears at the bottom left. You can choose one of these or you can choose multiple. But let's say that you want to create your own custom name for your header or footer. What you do is you click on edit custom fields. And when you do that, it'll open up this new window or new screen and you can add your own individual text to any of these boxes. This area right here is the content area, all of the data that you then put it on the spreadsheet. So in the middle, I will type what I want this to be called and I will say food drive since the data in the spreadsheet was about donations. When you click on one of the boxes, it gives you a list of things that you can include in the header and footer. And for example, if you click this paper icon, you can insert the page number in different formats. If you click the T, you can have it add the workbook title or the sheet name. If you click this calendar, you can enter the date in various formats. And if you click the clock, you can enter the time in various formats. And you can do that in any of the boxes that appear on the screen. Once you are done inputting whatever information you want in your headers and footers, click confirm, and then you will see a preview of what that page will look like when you print it. Now you won't see that information when you go back to your spreadsheets page, but again, when you decide to print the document, that information that you inputted earlier will be there. So this video shows you how to add headers and footers to your Google Sheets. If you found this video helpful, please click that like button and subscribe to this channel for more helpful videos. Also, please be sure to visit my website at therabbitpad.com.